Hi guys, uh, I'm a little hoarse still. It comes and goes. So some days I'm really good, and other days I'm not. So just bear with me. Uh, hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Um, so welcome to the daily energy update for December 23rd, Saturday, where we have the moon in Taurus. I love weekends when we have the moon in Taurus, honestly. Uh, last weekend to get your shopping done for Christmas, if you have to do that. Um, and so we have the moon in Taurus joining Uranus as we wake up. But I have the chart here. You can see it's December 22nd, still mountain time. So it's like Eastern time, 2 a.m. or 1 a.m. And we'll have Mercury regress to Sagittarius um, overnight as we're all sleeping. So we wake up to a Mercury in Sagittarius. And we also are waking up and getting ready for the day with the moon conjunct Uranus. So you actually might feel like you have like electricity, like you have things, you know, you have energy to do things and, you know, all of that jazz. Um, with Mercury and Sagittarius, you know, um, regularly with Mercury and Sagittarius, it is a very psychic placement. There's a lot of, um, sometimes people can feel really confused with Mercury, with people who have Mercury and Sagittarius, they're not really understood very much because they talk about things that mo like outer world things, you know, that like most third dimensional matrix individuals, you know, don't, you know, I don't know if I, we would call it the matrix, but with Mercury and Sagittarius, it's more of an esoteric placement, not, not as much discipline as Mercury in Capricorn and Mercury will be in Sagittarius until December, I'm sorry, until January 13th. Um, Mercury will uh, station direct on January 1st. So um, we have that. And then so we have the moon conjunct Uranus as we're waking up. And then the moon will oppose Venus here in Scorpio. And then we'll sextile, sextile Neptune and trying Pluto to kind of like round out the day. So there we have the sextile to Neptune. So like around dinner time when you're sort of winding down on Saturday or maybe even getting ready for the parties and stuff. If you're going to Christmas parties um, this weekend, it's going to it's going to be a good energy for Christmas parties, I feel like this weekend. So um, enjoy that. And then we'll have the moon trying Pluto. So some people may even have some karmic relationship stuff go on this weekend um, or even money stuff. And then. Um, we have, of course, we'll talk about Sunday, which will be Christmas Eve um, in another video. So let's look at, get an Oracle card from the Sacred Traveler Oracle deck. Ooh, I didn't even have to say any words. Fellow travelers, support is all around you. I really, that's a really pretty picture with the peacock over here in the corner. So support is all around you, fellow travelers. <clears throat> Be open to support and help from others. You don't need to do it alone. Sometimes that support comes from someone you'd least expect. If someone offer, offers you help, accept it. Trust that your life is guided. Unseen spirit travelers are helping you. Know that you're very loved in ways that you may not always directly experience. Sharing the journey means that there's support all around you. Um, blessings from above are showering over your life. You are safe. Angels and spirit guides are real and their presence is near. They're only a thought away. They're messages from the creator and they come with immense blessings and love. All is well. So you're being guided and you're being supported. And even if it's not from like other humans, you know, from humanity and from this world, 
there are invisible energies around us, even if we can't see them. Some of us can see them, which is, you know, um, always a great gift to have too, I guess. Um, but yeah, so don't forget that. Don't forget that, you know, and especially like this weekend, if you guys are doing stuff and you're overwhelmed with like getting everything together um, and pulling everything together, if you're really overwhelmed by that, then um, remember that you can also ask for help from people. Sometimes it's hard to ask for help when we've been shown that help means it's like, I'll scratch your back if you scratch mine. And that's why calling on your guides and the energies, the invisible energies around you to also give you support is really helpful um, because the human support is sometimes conditional. I love you guys. Have a really wonderful Saturday and I'll see you soon. Bye.